Hi, my name is Jason Webster. I'm Beck Hybrid, Central Illinois Practical Farm Research Director. Today we are out in the field doing some side dressing of corn. We're using one of our Hagee high clearance rigs. We're in about some V4, V5 corn today. Uh, this is a little bit smaller corn than what we'd like to do with one of these high clearance rigs. But what we're doing today is we're testing some nitrogen sealers that go on the back of this side dress bar. We're using a nitrogen toolbar on this high clearance rig. And behind this, this uh, uh, toolbar unit, we've got a set of sealers. And these sealers are designed just to pick a little bit of dirt up and throw it on top of where our injector just applied nitrogen. We're doing this so we don't have any volatilization issues. A lot of times with side dress bars, if we can't close the trench that the coulter opened up for us, that's going to give us a chance for volatilization. That's where nitrogen can actually change into a gaseous form and it can be lost into the atmosphere. We're eliminating that today because these sealers are throwing dirt right on top of where this uh, coulter opened up the way for the injector to drop nitrogen in the trench. We're closing the trench because we're picking up soil and throwing it right on top of it and it's collapsing in that trench. So this unit's doing an excellent job here. We've got this thing set and doing a really good job in the field. Again, just picking up just enough loose dirt to throw in to collapse that trench. So let's go to the field and uh, we'll show you what some of these strips have looked like. All right, this is our nitrogen toolbar uh, unit without sealers on the row units. You can see we've got our, our coulter up front that'll lead the way for a high pressure injection nozzle to uh, apply liquid UAN into the bottom of the trench that the coulter created. Without sealers, we need to make sure that we're closing this trench that the coulter made for us. Like we talked about earlier, if we don't close that trench, we run the risk for volatilization issues. Okay, so many times we see nitrogen toolbars that can't close this trench. We can't get enough loose dirt collapsing, falling on top of it, protecting that nitrogen. Okay, and so the only way to fix this situation where we can't close the trench is to get a rain to incorporate that nitrogen in and to attach the moisture in the soil. So if we don't uh, get that rain, um, we, we, can, we can get that volatilization issue in the field. So this is the major difference between sealers and non-sealers. Okay, this is where we've already applied nitrogen in the field. This is our unit with our nitrogen sealers. You can see our coulter led the way. Our injection point is right here in the middle of this, this area. And you can see our sealers have picked up loose dirt and thrown it right on top of where that nitrogen was applied. This nitrogen is going to be safe. It's going to be protected. These sealers are doing a really nice job for us. These nitrogen sealers are from a company named um, Nitrogen Sealing Systems based out of Catlin, Illinois. John Miller is the owner of the company. Uh, for more information about these sealers, you can contact nitrogensealingsystems.com.